last class period, we spend a lot of time showing you guys that directional angle. Remember the linear combination of V equals cosine of theta times I plus sine of theta times J. I did that whole explanation to really figure out that the tangent of theta equals B over A. All right? It's minus. Thank you. All right, so first of all, let's just go back to the magnitude. It says, what is first the magnitude of V? Well, the magnitude of V, remember, is V1 squared plus V2 squared. Now remember, when something's written in linear, in linear combination, this is the same thing as V equals V1i plus V2i, or V2j. So therefore, if I say, what's my V1 and my V2? My V1 is the coefficient 6, and my V2 is my coefficient of j, which is negative 6. So therefore, I'm going to have square root of 6 squared plus negative 6 squared. Right? You're not putting the i's and the j's in there. It's only the coefficients. It's v1 times i plus v2 times j. Therefore, I'm going to get the square root of 72. Right? And then I need to see how can I simplify that um, any farther. So now I need to figure out what is the largest square number that can divide into 72 that I can figure out to simplify. Dun, dun, dun. 8 and 9? No, there should be maybe even higher. 12 and 6. 12 and 6. Very good. So, well, 12 and 6 is neither of them are going to be a square number, though, right? But we can simplify that even further. So let's just do 12 and 6. Can I simplify now um, 12? Yes. Yeah, you can break this down into. Uh, the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 6. Square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 18. Can I break down the square root of 18? Yeah, to 9 and 2, right? So if we would have done this the other way, what you guys can notice is 72 could be broken down, ladies and gentlemen, into 36 times 2, right? Which gives us our same answer. But it's OK. If you can't think of 36, if you can just think of a number to do, that's fine. But you're just going to have to do a couple extra steps. Okay? There's nothing wrong with doing it this way if you can't figure out the final answer. But 36 would have been the best answer for us to choose that divides into there, right? But if you can't think of it and you think of 12 and 6, then do it. But you can still simplify that further. Does that make sense? Okay. So we have 6 comma radical 2. So that's the magnitude. So there's your magnitude. Then, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing it says is find the directional angle. Well, remember, the direction of the angle is just your tangent of theta is equal to b over a. right? Direction of an angle equals tan of theta, which is equal to b over a, where b kind of represents your v2 and a represents your v1. So we say tan of theta equals negative 1. Therefore, theta equals tan inverse a negative 1. So now we do the inverse tangent of negative 1. And we should get negative 45 degrees. We get negative 45 degrees. So therefore, if we're going to look at our circle, we have 45 degrees in the negative direction, right? But we want to figure out the positive direction. So if this is theta, the, or this is our reference angle, 45 degrees, our theta, not q, is going to equal 315 degrees. So therefore, we can say theta is going to equal 315 degrees, Okay, because we'll use the positive form of our angle. Magnitude, direction. OK? That's all, That's all you had to do. Do you have to draw the little graph in the circle? No. What? No. I, I just did that to help.